Okay, now this first thing is pretty easy. You are going to identify the expressions that represent what's called a difference of perfect squares. Okay? So it's the third kind of type of factoring you're going to learn. You learn the GCF. You learn the uh, T-chart when you have three. Now you're going to learn a different type of factoring. Now, first off, first what you need to do to see if it's um, on this sheet, can you please add that x to the second equals x times x, okay? These are all perfect squares. One's a perfect square because it's one times one. Four is a perfect square. It's two times two. Nine's a perfect square. It's three times three. Sixteen's a perfect square. It's four times four. Twenty-five is five times five. Thirty-six, six times six. Four, and you, you get the hang of it. Now, here's the first thing. You need to look at your x and make sure it's to the second power. And then up top, you're going to write x times x. Now, after the x is second, make sure you have a minus. You need the minus. If you have a plus, you're, not, you're going to cross it out. Okay. Then 9 is a perfect square. That would be 3 times 3. So, you're going to circle that. Make sure your x is to the second. That's x times x. But you got a plus. If you have a plus, you're going to cross it out. Now, x is to the second. But in front of the x is saying we got 25. Well, 25 is 5 times 5. So we put a 5 in front of each of the x's. But then after the x is second, we run into a plus. Cross it out. x is to the second. Nothing in front of it this time. We got a minus, but 14 is not a perfect square. I don't see 14 anywhere. Cross out. X is to the second. That's your first thing. Your variable S be to the second power. Okay, but it has a 16 in front of it. Well, 16 is 4 times 4, so I put a 4 in front of both my X's. Then I have a minus, and then 25 is 5 times 5. So I made it all the way through x to the second, okay? Now, it has a 4 in front of it, but 4 is 2 times 2, so that'd be 2x times 2x. Then I got the minus. 81 is 9 times 9. Circle it. Okay, we've got x to the second, but we've got a little problem. 3 is in front of it, but I don't see 3 as a perfect square. Cross it out. X is second, X times X. 49, um, 7 by 7, so it would be 7X, seven 7X. Seven Minus 64, 8 by 8. Circle. Okay, X is to the second, that's X times X. Nothing in front of it. Got a minus, 144, yep, 12 by 12. Circle it. X is to the second. Now look at the number in front. It's a 4, that's 2 times 2. But it's a plus. It's called difference of perfect squares for a reason. The word difference means minus. That is why I'm crossing out the ones that say plus. X to the second, X times X, 16 would be 4 by 4. Then you got the minus, okay? 1, 1 by 1. Circle. X to the second, X by X. Okay, 7 nowhere in here, okay? You're looking at these numbers, not these, okay? These are the ones I'm looking at. So, out. You cannot write 7 as a product of two of the same factor. X to the second, X times X, 25, 5 by 5, so 5X five times 5X, five but then it's a plus, out. X to the second, X times X, and then I got 4 to be 2 by 2. Then you got minus, that's good, 81, 9 times 9. Again, if you have a plus, notice how I'm not even look, care about that other number. Plus kills it. X times X, no number in front, but the plus kills it. X is second, X times X, 16 is 4 by 4. Plus kills it. 
Okay, why don't you go ahead and do those eight, then resume the video. Okay, now what I want you to do here is um, a couple different things. Um, you're going to first find the product of these, okay? And if you get bored with this part, you can go do one through four, okay? But then you got to find how to do five through eight, you need to come back. Okay, first, you're not going to put ones in front of the x's. You're going to, you need to get out of that habit. X times x, x times negative 5. Then I go 5 times x, and then 5 times negative 5. With that habit served its purpose. Now it's time to do it without. X times x is x to the second. That'd be negative 5 with x. That would be positive 5 with x. Now, but when I add those, that's 0. So those cancel negative 25. So I write x to the second power minus 25 because these cancel. Okay, 6x times 6x. Back to the 6x. 6x times negative 5. 5 times 6x. And 5 times negative 5. 36x to the second. Negative 30 with x, 30 with x, these cancel. That always happens when they're the same, but you have a plus and a minus. I'm just telling you that. Negative 25. So I write 36x to the second power minus 25. Okay, I think the same thing's going to happen because they're the same expressions, just one's plus, one's minus. Those are called conjugates. I want you to write that word, get familiar with it, conjugate. It's called the conjugate rule of multiplication. 3x times 3x. 3x times negative 7. 7 times 3x. 7 times negative 7. 9x second. Negative 21x. 21x, those are if I, they're opposite. One's negative, one's positive. They're the same. Get rid of them because if you add them, it's zero. Negative 49, so the answer is 9x to the second power minus 49. You kind of get the hang of it here. And this has happened before. We just didn't, we're not drawing the blanks out now. This class is good enough where you can do it without. Okay, x second, 8x, negative 8x. Again, get rid of those, and then we got negative 64. So it's x to the second minus 64. Now, really, because these are conjugates, you could just multiply these and then these, and bam, because you know those middle two cancel out. Now, we'll go pause the video, do one through four, and then resume. Now that you've resumed it, what the last part of your assignment is today is getting from here back to here. It's a pretty sim simplistic process. You gotta, you're going to use your sheet. There are no GCFs. The GCFs on all of them are 1, so we're going to ignore that. We'll eventually come back to it, but for today it's 1. Okay. With two terms, you would do the GCF, but I just told you they're all one. And then now you need to start checking them then if you have a difference of perfect squares. So you have x to the second, so you know that can be written as x times x. No number in front. Then the minus is in the house. And then 49, 7 times 7. So if I make it to the end, what I do is I make two parentheses, one with a plus, one with a minus. And I'm going to put x plus 7, and x minus 7. Bam. That's easy. It's like the easiest factoring there is. Okay, x to the second. This, that's the first thing you check for. 36 is 6 times 6. So put 6x and 6x, and the minus is in the house, 49, 7, 7. So in the first binomial, I put 6x plus 7. 6x minus 7. x times x. First check your x. Now look in front of it. 25 can be written as 5 times 5. So it's 25x squared is 5x times 5x. 
minus there, 4 is 2 by 2. So 5x plus 2 times 5x minus 2. x to the seconds, x times x. 4 is 2 times 2. 9 is 3 by 3. You got the minus, so one's positive, one's negative, because that's the only way you get negative nine is a positive times a negative. So it's two x, two x, and then three, three. Not really complicated, I would say. Now eventually we'll have to start checking these for GCFs, but they're for now they're all one. Okay, I made it so they work. Okay, x second would be x times x. 25 is 5 by 5. Minus 16 is um, 4 by 4. Plus minus, you got 5x, 4, 5x, 4. Again, if you multiplied those out, you'd wind up back here. Because the middle two cancel out. x times x. Now there's a 9 in front of it, so you got to rewrite the 9 as 3 by 3, so it's 3x, 3x. 100, that'd be 10 by 10. So the factoring is 3x, 10, 3x, 10, bingo. Okay, x seconds there. 81 is 9 by 9, minus. 4 is 2 by 2. So 9x, 9x, 2, 2. Last one. x to the second, I just rewrite as x times x. There's not a coefficient in the front that I need to attach to the x's. Minus, and 81 is 9 times 9. Doesn't work if there's a plus. I don't think I wrote pluses on any of these here. I did in the other one because you need to recognize that if it's a plus, it's not a difference of perfect squares.